Let's get to the good news, folks. There were two Amazon unionization votes that took place in two separate distribution facilities, one in New York, Staten Island, and one in Bessemer, Alabama. Unfortunately, the Bessemer, Alabama, which will be, uh, there will be a recount. There are like 400 uh, votes that are in contention. Maybe I'm non copium, but like we'll see what happens in Bessemer, Alabama. But unfortunately, as it stands, the Bessemer, Alabama unionization uh, vote uh, did not pan out in a positive way as the Staten Island one did. Now, the Staten Island one is also a independent union. We're going to talk about the differences between independent unions versus like larger unions. There's advantages and then there's disadvantages. But ultimately, there was a guy by the name of Chris Smalls. I've covered him a lot over the course of the past couple of years. You've probably heard about him before on this broadcast as well. This was a man who uh, Amazon famously uh, uh, basically fired for uh, trying to organize in the uh, in the distribution facility that he was working at. And he was like, yo, you know what? Fuck this. Like, I'm going to come back with a vengeance. And God damn, he did. OK, so let's let's see what uh, uh, about let's see what happened here union in New York. Yeah, I'm just I'm sure kind of trying to get the margin of victory in. It was incredibly tight. And of course, this is a vote that's gone on for several days. Right. And there was the idea that whatever the outcome and this is still a possibility that there will be challenges and recounts. But really, it is, as we've written in many Bloomberg stories, a watershed moment. You know, Amazon employs hundreds of thousands of people throughout the U.S. in a number of fulfillment centers. They have, for many years, been able to push back against unionization. And as you may have seen, Kaylee, here in the United States, I'm not so sure about Guy in Europe, but there are constant television ads running here in the U.S. Amazon talking about $15 an hour and health... <laughs> Amazon care available to workers from day one. That's what their argument is, that there is not a need to unionize because the way that Amazon pays its workers at all levels and the, the additional benefits that they give, including health care, are sufficient. But this, in the case of the New York election, the union clinching what I expect to be a narrow victory, I'm waiting on the numbers from colleagues and through the Bloomberg terminal, is a watershed moment for this company. In terms of how this will be replicated. Ed, just walk us through the process. Is Amazon fighting other, other similar pushes elsewhere? Will this have an impact, the fact that there is a victory here? Or be I used to work at the Bessemer facility, and that's actually how I discovered you. I was working there and listening to your videos on the vote right after we did it. I'm glad New York did it because Bessemer BHM1 facility got fucked. Yeah. Yeah, tight, maybe. We don't know the numbers, as you say, we're waiting for them. But nevertheless, a potential victory for the union. Will this embolden and accelerate that process elsewhere? Yeah, I guess the question now... Got okay, we've obviously, we talked about uh, unionization a lot and why it's good and all that stuff. Uh, now, let me, just, uh, let me just bring up something real quick here. Like, if unions weren't such a devastating threat to the corporate overlords... They wouldn't spend millions and millions and millions of dollars combating it. The threat of a unionization drive alone is enough, quite literally enough in most cases, for the company to turn around and immediately be like, oh, we're giving you more benefits. We're giving you more benefits. Please, for the love of Christ, do anything but start a union. That's how fucking big it is. And obviously, there's empirical evidence for this as well. The NLRB releases data regularly on this. Uh, I believe unionization drives up wages by 10% and uh, even higher margins if you are a part of a union, but 10% across the board, even if you're not a part of a union as a consequence of other companies trying to become more competitive with their, with their wages. Uh, one of the greatest examples of this is in Bessemer, Alabama, of course. One might think that like a $15 an hour job at a distribution facility in Bessemer, Alabama seems like a fucking good deal. Like, holy shit, they get benefits. They get they get all this good stuff. They And, and all the other jobs are like $7 an hour. However, what they fail to recognize is that in Bessemer, Alabama, there are competitive wages in unionized distribution facilities where they're not making $15 an hour. Unionized distribution facilities in Alabama are making... $22 an hour on average. So you have to, once again, compare that not to like a McDonald's job or a Walmart job, but instead to other comparable unionized distribution facilities. So you have to always remember that. There's a lot of fucking misinformation that goes around, okay? Um, even though, though, even then, though, uh, their labor conditions are pretty fucking awful. Time off task is a huge problem in Amazon facilities. 
Can you donate some of the union t-shirt money uh, to ALU's GoFundMe? I can. I can also donate some of my own money to the ALU GoFundMe. Well, um, maybe I have already, who knows? Anyway. Guy is where next? I think what's interesting, there's a parallel here with what we've seen with Amazon in Europe. You know, as guys, you know, in the United Kingdom, in, in mainland European Union, unionization efforts or, or the commonality of unions in the workplace is more present, right? And Amazon has dealt with the issue of unionization in very, in a higher frequency, a higher volume of cases. So we have this situation in New York, Staten Island and New York, also states like Alabama, mm. where else might this now happen? And of course, it's down to organization. I have to say, you know, I'm not a, a beat journalist that covers unionization. Yep. It'd be great to speak to Josh Eisen, but it just takes a worker in one of these plants to get organized and suggest that they get the signatures required to trigger we've a vote the and you expect that to happen. Go yeah. ahead. Ed, just to say, we've got the details. I know, I know we should be wrapping this up, but the election at Amazon's JFKA Fulfillment Center in Staten Island wasn't close, according to the reporting I'm reading here, with only a few hundred ballots left to count. The Amazon Labor Union led with 2,300 yes 300, versus yeah. 1,855 no votes for Amazon. So we're starting to get some of the details in terms of the scale of the victory here. As you say, Ed, right. a watershed moment. Okay, can't just focus on the workers big. you got to use it as a... Been for your drive to paint the squad as enemies? Now we get to go back and share a celebratory moment with them because without them, this wouldn't be possible. And any message for uh, AOC specifically? Hell no, man! I'm not giving her no. She don't. She don't deserve this moment. Yeah. Well, one more. Last question. Uh, do you think it's possible today that Jeff Bezos is so outraged and upset that he might go to space permanently? I don't give a damn what Bezos did, honestly. You know, I was, Bezos ain't the CEO anymore, but I know he was watching. And I'm happy he was able to enjoy this, uh, <laughs> if he is enjoying it, but whatever. Um, no permanent no permanent space mission? Nah, he probably, he probably ain't going nowhere, but it's no, you know what? It, once again, I ain't giving this moment to him either, you know? This is about the workers and, you know, Jeff Bezos, politicians, everybody else. Forget about it. I know who was here from day one. I know who supported us from day one. And I know what we're capable of doing. Today we proved that. Thanks, Christian. Christian Smalls was attacked a lot by Amazon. He's a really interesting guy. But ultimately, it doesn't matter. Yeah, he's shitting on the squad. He's using this as an opportunity to shit on the squad. He gets to do that at least today. I'm annoyed by it. I think it's frustrating. He literally did the work. He can shit on whoever he wants. Yeah, I know. But just like, just to hold on. Isn't what AOC did to him kind of fucked though? AOC should have went to at least one of their fucking drives. But it's so strange that the first fucking thing you go, the, the first thing you go through is like literally attack a person who has demonstrably been incredibly effective at pushing for unionization all around the country. Not just specifically the Staten Island one, but like you got a dub, dude. Celebrate your dub. What the fuck are you doing? Why in your moment of celebration, you're like, oh man, fuck. Uh, you know fuck aoc and i know everybody loves 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 fucking shitting on the squad and she fucked up she didn't show up there amazon unit organizer asked her to show up she did not show up she did not show material support for the people whose historic victory she now champions and does not respond to the lead organizer who was dragged through the mud for two years by america's largest retailer so again i don't care Chris Smalls is correct for and and is is good that uh, he was able to unionize this is a historic fucking dub but I fucking hate leftists. I hate leftists. It's like the CIA or the FBI never has to infiltrate a leftist movement. Do you want to know why? Because we do it to ourselves, okay? There's just no reason. Can you imagine a historic fucking win? And the, the only thing that the left is talking about is like how much AOC fucking sucks. What the fuck is wrong with you? I just, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I'm a fucking reactionary conservative, okay? That's why whenever people are like, you're not a real communist, I'm like, yeah, fuck yeah, I'm not a real communist. I don't give a shit. Yeah, yeah, I'm a capitalist, baby. I love capitalism. Woo, I love it so fucking much. What, do you live in the fucking real world? That's not a diss, dumbass. In the real world, unfortunately, that's not a fucking diss. Only in your hyper fucking weird like splinter discords where you fantasize about the fucking proletarian revolution is that considered a fucking diss so my own personal perspective 
on capitalism or socialism does not even matter. But it frustrates me to no fucking end that we can't even sit there and celebrate a fucking dub and make it seem like AOC is just like anti-union or something. She fucked up on this front, for sure. She did. She should have been there. She should have helped out. But in that process, again, we've talked about the Starbucks unionization efforts. There have been, there's been a lot of fucking success on that side as well. And AOC was there for the Starbucks union a, a, a fuckload of times. Now the conversation shifts away on the left to like how much AOC sucks. It's like, what, what are you winning? Like, what are you winning here? What are you gaining by doing this? Do you think that, um, I don't know, you, you have like bullied AOC into showing up for the next union drive now? She's already going to the union drives. She already goes to the picket lines. What, what did you win? I mean, I'm, I'm really critical of AOC on her foreign policy. And of course, everyone can always do better. Everyone can always do better. Always. But what the fuck is happening here, dude? What the fuck is wrong with people? Just celebrate a dub. Celebrate a dub for once, please. Please. This is it. This is, we will never have solidarity. We will never have like a serious movement. It's just never going to happen. Because everyone is just trying to cut clips, make content, become a content farm off of like people that are in the at the top of like prominent leftist figureheads that are already getting doo-dooed on by the right regardless and liberals as well. Well, I guess AOC gets celebrated by liberals, so I just don't understand it. Like I don't know. I don't know what the fuck this is. I don't know what's going on. Like what how this literally before the last fucking vote was counted crystal ball and everybody else was already shitting on aoc and there's plenty to shit on aoc over do not misunderstand me but this is one of those instances where it literally does like it, it she is on the side of unions and and routinely goes to picket lines like she fucked up on not going to this one but god damn dude there's a guy who organized a union drive talking about how you left them high and dry. These are your constituents and you couldn't be bothered to show up until they're close to victory. That warehouse isn't in my district and maybe you should look at a map before claiming so. One scheduling conflict aside, we've requested oversight investigations in the Amazon, met with Amazon workers in the war Woodside warehouses and more. Hope you do more due diligence next time. Not one I remember. Not one member of the squad showed up. They all ghosted Chris and this isn't just another event. It was the most substantial worker-led organizing effort at one of the most powerful companies in the world. They all had excuses. For all that many months of this organizing drive, it's like you can't have a moment of celebration. You know what I mean? For like a profound achievement, you got to immediately find someone as close to you as possible and punch him in the face. It's so stupid. Like, what are I'm you doing? Why are you fucking so mad? And I know Crystal's going to be like, well, actually, the reason why I'm saying this is because like, well, next time they should be uh, more attentive to the needs of like union organizers or whatever. But like, Look, this dude's awesome. Um, I don't care if he hates AOC or not. I mean, dope. But I don't think he's a fan of mine, probably. Uh, I wouldn't. If he's, like, aggressively using this as an opportunity to fucking yell at uh, AOC, I would suspect that he's probably really into content creators that are not necessarily fans of mine. Which, by the way, don't give a shit. He still did an incredible job. Don't care. He's awesome. Um, I thought AOC couldn't attend the one union drive, uh, way back in the day, but I thought she did more in that, in that time frame. I'm surprised she didn't actually get involved with this more. Literally skipped the Biden inauguration to support a strike and the strike won the next day she was there. Yeah, she, she goes to demonstrations all the time. She goes to union drives all the time. She, she goes to picket lines a lot more than most of these motherfuckers do complain about it. Obviously the dude who like successfully was able to unionize the first ever distribution facility of Amazon, which is awesome. It's a profound, profound, incredible achievement, by the way. But yeah, they said on breaking points that she shouldn't show up. She couldn't show up at the state at Staten Island Amazon union rally. And then she was at the Mad Gala. Wait, really? That was when she was at the, yeah, that's not good. Okay. I don't know. I don't know which, what, which union drive they're talking about, but I think they requested, if I'm not mistaken, they asked for her to show up to one, and then she didn't, yeah, and then gosh. they got mad. It was canceled all Amazon Union activists when needed her telling them she's not doing public appearances anymore. A few weeks later, she appeared at the Met Gala and never got back to them. Now she's bandwagoning since she's been, they've been successful. Luckily, Crystal Ball has the receipts. Warehouses in my district, you have people who work in your warehouse in your district, and if you want to argue, I'd take it up with Shutdown Amazon, who just won and said that you abandoned him. 
As far as I know, man, it's not in AOC's district, but she sure had time for this. Yo, this is so fucking dumb. AOC's not claiming security concerns for why she couldn't attend the rally. No security concerns at the Met Gala, though. Yeah, of course, there's no fucking security concerns at the Met Gala. Obviously, no shit. What, what the fuck? Are these people stupid? You, clearly, there's no security concerns at the Met Gala. The Met Gala. There are people that are, like, infinitely more expensive than AOC. They're there, that they're being protected from the poor. Don't worry, you know? Um, security was an issue as well. 2021 included a lot of high-level threats on my life, which limited what activities I was able to do, especially those outside. The combination of that, plus when we were able to get resources slash time to secure them, creates scheduling and logistical conflicts. Now, face when you have security concerns, so you can go out of state to dance, virtue signal, and union organize in your home states uh, desperately need your help. Yeah, I don't give a shit. Um, constantly threatened. I do not blame her. Look, people are saying I'm a simp. I've criticized AOC a lot. Um, but to say that she's like anti union is fucking silly. Fox is literally using Crystal's attack on AOC. Of course they are. MSNBC. There you go. What, what do you think was going to happen? What, what, of course they are. And I know, I know he, I know Christian Smalls does not fucking appreciate AOC at all. He, he feels like, uh, you know, he was fucked over by AOC and the squad, I guess, as a consequence of AOC. I don't know if they even reached out to everyone in the squad, but it's so, it's so weird. Like, what the fuck are you guys doing? What? Like, this is a moment of, of celebration. It's a moment of victory. And here's the other thing that, like, I, I, I'm sure Christian Smalls recognizes but the hard work is not yesterday. The hard work begins now. He's now the president of a fucking independent union. Do you know how difficult that process is going to be? They don't have like connections to larger labor unions. That's going to be insanely difficult. Amazon is going to use every opportunity to blow up every fucking union conversation by showcasing if this fucks up, if the Amazon labor union fucks up from this point on, that will be used as a fucking stark example as to why unions are fucking dog shit. So if I were in this situation and I'm not, and he deserves it, he deserves to say whatever the fuck he wants. But if I were in this situation and I'm not, I'm just a fucking, again, out of touch, bourgeois capitalist pig dog living in fucking the comfort of luxury, okay? I wasn't disparaged by Amazon in the same way that he was. I would be focusing on the actual heart, the, the hard part, which is coming now. This could still work in Amazon's favor in a gigantic way. You act like all these organizers are MLs. I mean, they're not. No, I don't think they are. They're, but it doesn't matter. They don't have to be. They don't have to be. I've stressed this so many times. I don't give a fuck what their uh, political background is. If they're unionizing, if they're unionizing and if they're work putting together a, a, a union, it's awesome. I don't care what their background is. Anyway, I'm done with like defending AOC on this issue when there's uh, bigger villains at play and much more, much, much, much more. There is so much more going on with, with what Chris Smalls has to worry about going forward. The Amazon labor union has to worry about going forward. They're not a part of a larger union. Uh, there's going to be money handling issues. Amazon is going to probably take a step back and watch this unfold and literally just wait for it to fall apart. So we have to, again, we have to help this dude out. We have to help the Amazon labor union out. No matter what the fuck they say, even if they're like Jimmy Dore fans or whatever the fuck, none of that matters ultimately. What matters is this has to be a successful example. Okay, Amazon says, we're disappointed with the outcome of the election in Staten Island because we believe having a direct relationship with the company is best for our employees. An Amazon spokesperson said, yeah, no shit. We're evaluating our options, including filing objections based on the inappropriate and undue influence by the NLRB that we and others, including the National Retail Federation and U.S. Chamber of Commerce, witness in this election. They're going to literally fucking just dismantle the remaining parts of the NLRB, I think. Between Amazon's possible next steps. Um, Amazon appeals to the national NLRB, loses. Amazon refused to bargain, recognize the union. NLRB forces them to the table. Amazon refuses to comply. NLRB issues harsher penalties. Amazon refuses to pay, goes to circuit court, loses. Case appeal to Supreme Court uh, precedent. Issue at hand would be that are, are the NLRB's powers constitutional? Does the power to regulate interstate commerce give the federal government the power to regulate union elections? And how much? Did the NLRB overstep at Amazon? The precedent is yes, but this is a conservative court. Yeah, that Supreme Court will fucking long dick it so hard. It's easy to laugh this off as cope, but we they have an appeal route that goes to the Supreme Court. We know exactly what's going to happen here. Oh, yeah. Oh, fucking yes, dude. 
Remember, this is a Supreme Court that's like, child slavery, as long as it's done by third-party subsidiaries, is not that big of a deal. So if you want to understand where the Supreme Court's uh, attitude is on a lot of the stuff, Amazon about to waste a ton of money. First of all, that's not a waste of money. Are you kidding me? For them, this is the best use of money. They spent $4.3 million on a fucking law firm to do union busting, okay? And it was 50-50. It worked in Bessemer. It didn't work in fucking Staten Island. But now they will spend hundreds of millions of dollars, which is pennies for them, to literally eviscerate the power that the NLRB holds. They'll use this as an opportunity if they want to, to just fucking destroy the, the union so that you can squash any other unionization uh, efforts. Now that is, of course... In the best case scenario, that the Amazon labor union doesn't fucking fall apart immediately. Hopefully, it doesn't. That is like I'm so, I, I I'm I'm a very very pessimistic person. I think I I'm 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 very cynical about everything. Uh, but it, it is terrifying to me. Like there's a long fucking road ahead for these guys, and I hope I hope they they crush it. Four dumb things that Amazon did that can help explain the union's big win on Staten Island. Amazon got the police to arrest Christian Smalls and two other organizers for going on Amazon property to deliver food to Amazon workers. Amazon looked heartless and turned Smalls into a hero. Internal documents were released that, that showed how racist the fucking Amazon executives were about him, too. They called him, like, violent, aggressive, inarticulate... While Smalls and his union said their goal was a minimum pay of $30 an hour, Amazon kept telling workers that with a union, they could end up with decreased pay. With unemployment so low and low wages rising, workers saw Amazon's message as lame and the union's message as very hopeful. Yeah, here, remember, I, I, I've talked about this before. Leaked Amazon memo details plan to smear fired warehouse organizer. He's not smart or articulate. Yep. And well, he articulated his demands real fucking well. So there's that. Oh, here, we were going to watch. This is what I wanted to see. Do you have a message for Jeff Bezos? Do you have a message for Jeff Bezos? No. Oh, we want to thank Jeff Bezos for going to space because when he was up there, we were trying to keep it up. We were trying to keep it up. We were trying to keep it up. Sign in. Sign in. I'm pretty sure he's. I'm pretty sure he watched the count. Yeah, this look. This dude deserves all the praise, bro. He did it. He fucking did it. The mad lad. Not just him, obviously. It's the people around him as well. But he was singled out pretty hard. Get him on stream. I don't think he would want to come on stream. I look. I'm. A, I know people that know him. I, I. I don't think he would be a big fan of mine. Uh, that doesn't stop me from obviously defending him and you know, want wishing him the best. But in helping wherever I can, in whichever way I can. But I don't think he would want to come on the stream. I'll be honest with you. It would be too much of a distraction. Regardless, it's not about me. Workers of Amazon labor leaders are still lingering around Metro Tech, where historic union vote took place. Oh, here, there's another one. Here, he brought, uh, he brought a champagne bottle. Celebrate the historic win. I love that this has to be a bit, right? Did you just send me a get fiscal post and asking if this was a bit? Yes, of course, dude. Of course it's a bit. That's literally all he does. <laughs> of course he's joking, dude. That's literally... That's, he's a poster. <laughs> that's pretty funny. That someone took what he says seriously. I love that. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is what he does. He's been doing these posts literally since the Iraq invasion. Yeah. I'm not celebrating a union for people who choose to work for one of the worst companies in the world. <laughs> It'd be like cheering for a police union. They make people wear diapers because they can't take bathroom breaks. <laughs> Little Chris is being bullied at school. My friend told me I'm unbanned for April Fools. Okay, dude, stop. Amazon workers and organizers are celebrating the historic victory by Amazon Labor. Yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens in the future. I hope all I wish only good things for the Amazon Labor Union and hopefully this starts a a uh, much much larger fucking wave 
a tidal wave of unionization happening in Amazon distribution facilities all across the board.